Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can avoid styling conflicts, um, particularly with your content script. So if you're injecting content into the page, how can you make sure that the elements that you're adding aren't going to be interfered by the styling on the page already? Um, or if the page changes in the future, how can you make sure that this won't you know, affect the way that your extension looks? So let's jump over now to, some ex to an example extension and let's see how this can be put together. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna be using the shadow root. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description to a video I've done in the past um, on the shadow root, um, but we're gonna be looking at specifically for an extension and what this can actually do. So let's take a quick example of a really simple extension here. Um, so what you can see is we've adjusted this page to add these two uh, text elements over here, so they both say the same, have the same content, and uh, they have a, uh, a background on each one. But what we want to look at here is the text. Now, one of them is inheriting a, uh, a class to bold the, the font, and the other one isn't. So if we actually inspect these, you can see that one's using a shadow root, and the other one isn't. Um, so you can see here my shadow root element has exactly the same class, this DS font bold, as this one over here. But because it's using the shadow root, this isn't getting inherited and it's not conflicting. Um, so if we wanted to actually have our own uh, class name within our extension that was gonna use this, we wouldn't have to worry about what the actual website that we're injecting into is doing. Um, so let's take a look at the code and how you can actually use this and I'll share links to all of that in the description. The reason we have this light blue color here is just an example to highlight this, so don't worry um, about that. Okay, so here is the, the code we're using to basically add that first element. So this is the one that is getting um, conflicted by the existing styling on the page. So it's because we want to use this, this class name here. Now this could be anything, um, but ideally what we're showing here is you want to try and avoid these conflicts um, with, within your extensions. So just to you know highlight a bit more, so the reason we're injecting this is we're basically just using um, query selector to find this particular area on the page, and then we're just injecting uh, our content into this area. So this is how we make sure that our elements appear just here. Um, but yeah, so this is how this one works. So if we were to change this to something else, that's always gonna be um, you know, interfered by the way they have on the page. The shadow root, however, is slightly different. Um, so everything here is exactly the same. We're actually using this parent element class, so we don't have to, or parent element variable, so we don't have to, uh, you know, refine where we actually want to inject into. Um, but that is a very small change. But then in here, what we're doing is we are we're creating a, a div element exactly the same, but we're attaching the uh, shadow root element onto this with the mode open. Um, I'll put a link to the the docs on exactly how shadow roots work in the description, but essentially there's two modes, open and closed. Um, if they're closed, you know, it's more restricted in terms of what people can actually view, whereas open is a little bit more open. Um, but anyway, so what we're doing here is we're injecting this styling first. Now, this is quite important as well. This makes sure that everything within our shadow root, we essentially reset um, all of the inherited styling. So you wanna make sure you have this. Um, and then that's why when we have our our div here, which is exactly the same as one at the top, it's not being conflicted. So if we were to take away this class name, it's not gonna make any difference because we're not inheriting it. Um, so that's just a quick example of, of how that works. And again, I'll share a link to the code um, for this in the description. Just a quick video to show how using this simple method with the shadow root can actually really help to sort of solidify your extension and make it more consistent across every single site that you're going to be, you know, injecting into. This is particularly useful for um, when you're using the all URLs permission, for example, and you want to get on every single website, but you don't necessarily want to customize it for all the sites that you're going to support. So this can be really useful. Um, so thanks for watching. One thing I want to mention is my long awaited course is, is moving along nicely and it's almost ready for um, pre-orders. Um, so if you want to be one of the first people to sign up for this and get like the early bird offer, there's also a link in the description where you can sign up to my email list where you'll find out uh, more information about this as soon as it's ready. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.